Hey traders, it's John Fortune here of this week's weekly forex forecast. We're going to run through over 30 markets as we always do, and we're going to be highlighting targets in each market for the week ahead. And as we go through the markets, we're going to build out a high probability watch list along the way for next week, and it's a data driven watch list. So I hope you're all having a nice weekend. Let's jump over to the US dollar. Before we look at the dollar technicals, it's worth noting that this week only 29% of all of the forex markets that we're looking at here are trending which is down roughly 52 percent from last week so what this means is that the markets have started to get very very corrective and we should be looking as we go into next week and any future weeks as long as this is the case to be reducing the amount we're allocating into the markets waiting for opportunities to start presenting themselves once again and you'll see that with this week's watch list it is actually greatly slimmed down we did recently have 15 to 20 even more on the watch list and this week we only have six so looking at the dollar itself although last week brought an end to 12 13 14 15 weeks of really really good markets the dollar index didn't really do much it just continued to correct we looked last week at the fact that the market was structured to the upside in the dxy and we we're looking for a breakout in the DXY, anybody who's taking the free GMT course will know that there is no breakout here. There is no reversal in the DXY. And going into this week, really the analysis on this remains the same from last week. It's just we have a deeper correction. So any break higher in the DXY next week, as we're still structured to the upside, would be viewed as the opportunity to look for bullish setups in the dollar pairs, so dollar strength positions. And I am still looking up to the 93.51 in the dollar index. It does mean that I once again go into next week with a bullish bias on the dollar. And I favor, as I said, dollar strength trades next week. Crude oil. I have been bearish on crude oil for a number of weeks, although it has not been on the high probability watch list since we took out the target to the downside and we bounced. It's just kind of corrected sideways. So I am still bearish on crude oil, but... I think next week, the name of the game, especially for me, will be to pick just the best opportunities that present themselves. And I don't think this is one of the best markets for next week. So if you are looking to trade this, any correction is still viewed as another opportunity to look for bearish breakouts down to the next Kiev supports the downside and the target set at the 56.44. Euro dollar. Now, not last week, but the week before, we had a target down here at the 1.1705 and we took this target out to the pip before we started to correct. Last week we noted, very similar to what we were looking at in the DXY, but inversely, we're looking for a correction and then a reversal to the downside so we can start to look back towards the 1.1613. However, because this is a deep correction as it stands, the 1.1705 target has been reintroduced. This is the next target to the downside once again. And very similar to the dollar index, we just continued to correct. We did not have any reversals. So going into this week, any bearish reversal in this market to the downside would be viewed as the opportunity to start to look for short positions down to the next care of supports to the downside the target set once again at 1.1705. This does not go down on the watch list because I'm being very picky this week, but out of all of the markets not on the watch list, this is actually looking like a pretty decent one, one to keep an eye on. Pound dollar, pound dollar reverse to the downside last week. This was one I talked about filtering out. We are structured to the downside. This is in line with that dollar strength bias I have currently and also have had for a number of weeks. Now this is structured to the downside. Again, it doesn't make the watch list, but any correction in this market towards the 1.38510 would be viewed as the opportunity next week to start to look for bearish reversals down to the next KF support to the downside at the 1.3620. Dollar yen, last week we we're looking for breakouts to the upside and the market is still structured to the upside. This is just currently considered a big ball flag. I do think we come up and take out previous highs in the 110.95. So very simply put, this is just continued to correct. But going into this week, the analysis remains the same. Any bigger breakout to the upside in this market should be viewed as the opportunity to look for bullish setups up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and the target set the 110.95 and this does go down on the watch list next week as one to watch i think this is one of the better markets to be trading or to be looking at trading next week next is aussie dollar now aussie dollar is interesting because although we have a bullish bias in the dollar it's structured to the upside we're forming a base here in the form of a potential inverse head and shoulders now what this simply means to me is that the australian dollar itself against a stronger dollar is showing some strength so the aussie dollar next week is actually something you could consider for strength now in terms of aussie dollar i wouldn't really be interested in trading this because you'd have two kind of strong currencies paired against each other 
I really just take from this the fact that the Aussie out of all the currencies is showing a bit of strength as well. So I personally would be filtering this market next week, but if you really did want to trade it, I would be looking to trade it in line with the inverse head and shoulders and any correction towards the 75740, I would be viewing as the opportunity to look for a breakout and for a move up towards the next gear of resistance, the upside the target set, the 0 0.7699. Again, I think there are better markets out there to be trading next week. New Zealand dollar. New Zealand dollar is structured to the downside, and this goes on the watch list next week as one to watch. I do like this market out of all of them. I think this is going to be a good one to keep an eye on next week. We started to correct. I do think we come down see lower lows. We're forming this bear flag pattern. So any deeper correction in this market is simply viewed as an opportunity to look for bearish reversals down to the next Kiev supports to the downside and the target set at the 0 0.6915. Just bear in mind, we've looked at Aussie dollar to the upside and New Zealand dollar to the downside is one to watch. So just think of the implications of that for Aussie New Zealand when we come to it later. US dollar franc, this was on the watch list to the upside last week and it comes off the watch list. I don't think it's one of the best markets this week. I was looking for reversal to the upside. Like a number of these other markets, we just got continued correction. So in this case, lower lows and lower highs, there was no reversal to the upside, although we did come back and test the 0 0.9242. So if you are looking to trade this market, I would still although it's not on the watch list, I'd still be only focused on bullish breakouts and any breakout to the upside would be viewed as the opportunity to look for long positions up towards the next key of resistance to the upside at the 0 0.9369. Next is US dollar CAD. Now, although this has not been on the watch list because both the dollar and the CAD are quite strong, I have noted that this is still structured to the downside and really short opportunities are the best play in this market. We corrected towards the 1.2660 and we started to reverse from here. Any continued pullback in this market, although it's not on the watch list, would be viewed if you're looking to trade this market as the opportunity to look for bearish reversals down to the next key of support to the downside and the target in this market at 1.2363. Next is gold. Now, gold has been extremely choppy, and this was on the watch list to the downside last week. I was interested in looking for bearish reversals. We didn't get any bearish reversals, or right at the end of the week, we spiked to the downside. It is now going into this week's structure to the upside. We've broken, confirmed somewhat of a double bottom, although this has not quite taken out the bottom. So I'm not a big fan of gold going into next week personally, especially with a bullish dollar. I'd like to see the dollar rolling over to the downside before I look to get fundamentally long on gold, which I am fundamentally bullish on gold. But I really would like to see the dollar breaking down first, which it hasn't currently done. So going into next week, if you are looking to trade this market, and I almost certainly won't, any correction towards the 170503 would be the opportunity to look for bullish reversals up towards first and foremost, the 1760.77 and any breakthrough here, I would be looking up towards the next gear resistance, the upside and target two, at the 1807.87. So going into next week, out of the six trades that I like the best that are on my watch list this week, two of them are dollar pairs and they are US dollar yen to the upside and New Zealand dollar to the downside. Moving on to the yen and the euro pairs, starting with euro yen. This market is structured to the upside, although it's not on the watch list. I do favor long positions in this market if you are looking to trade it. Any correction would be viewed as an opportunity to look for bullish reversals. And I'd be looking up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and the target set in this case at the 131.17. Frank Yen. Now we've had this market off the watch list for a while and I've told you I've not been interested in this. It's been very corrective, but we have started to break to the upside and the data is suggesting that we may start to be going into a trending mode in this market once again. So I would favor bullish positions in this market next week. Any correction, although it's not on the watch list, any correction should be viewed as the opportunity to look for bullish reversals up towards the next key of resistance, the upside at the 119.25. Pound yen on the watch list last week and on the watch list this week. We started to correct again like in a number of markets, but we haven't had any breakouts to the upside. So going into this week, if we start to break to the upside, this is going to be a market that I'm going to be interested in looking for bullish setups up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and the target set at the 153.82. Aussie yen. Aussie yen is structured to the downside when if you think back to Aussie dollar, the Aussie dollar is showing a little bit of strength against the US dollar, which is quite strong in and of itself. So I really don't like the look of this market going into next week. I will be filtering this market out. If you did want to trade it, the opportunities I'd be looking for are for any corrections and I'd be looking for a bearish reversal in this market to be the sign to start to look for short positions down to the 82.10. As I said, I think there are better markets out there next week and I'll be filtering this out myself personally. 
Kajian on the watch list last week and again on the watch list this week. We were looking for a correction in this market towards the 86.310 before looking for moves to the upside. So we have got some momentum coming into this market. So any reversal in this market next week will be viewed as another opportunity to look for bullish setups up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and the target set for next week, the 88.47. New Zealand Yen, I am still bearish on this market. We've started to break down as well, which is what we've been discussing in previous videos. So if you are looking to trade this, and I'll personally, I think there are better markets out there next week. But if you are looking to trade this, if anybody not already positioned in, any correction once again would simply be viewed as another opportunity to look for bearish reversals down to the next key of support to the downside, the target set, the 75.57. Eurofranc, structured to the downside, although it doesn't make the watch list. I would only be focused on short positions because of this. So any correction in Eurofranc would be viewed as an opportunity if you are looking to trade this market to look for bearish reversals down to the next key of support to the downside and the target in this case at 1.0956. Euro New Zealand, it is structured to the upside and we were looking in previous videos for a breakout coming up to take out new highs and take out the 1.7104. We have started to break out, so any for anybody not involved, any correction in this market would simply be viewed once again as an opportunity to look for bullish setups up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and the target set, the 1.7104. Euro Aussie, unlike Euro New Zealand, Euro Aussie took out its target last week, whereas Euro New Zealand just started to make its way towards the target. And we did take out the 1.5611. Going into this week, I am looking for further advance to the upside in this market, although it doesn't make the watch list. The next key of resistance is the 1.5680, which was target two from last week. We're quite close. So I'd like to see a correction in this market first. And if you are looking to trade this market, any correction would be viewed as the opportunity to look for bullish breakouts up towards target two from last week at the 1.5680 and any break through here i'd be looking up towards the second target to the upside the 1.5802 euro pound now euro pound for anybody who's been following the forecast you'll know this market has been one of the best markets all year for the last three months just over three months in fact this market has paid so nicely to the downside. And finally, last week, it looks like we may have a reversal in this market. We had a big rally to the upside. Going into this week, therefore, it doesn't make the watch list, but I am bullish on this market overall. Any correction in euro pound would be viewed as a potential inverse head and shoulders. And I would be looking for any bullish reversal as the sign. If you are looking to trade this, start to look for long positions up towards the next key of resistance, the upside, the 0.8740. And wrapping up the euro and the yen pairs, we have euro CAD. Now, it doesn't make the watch list and it is structured to the upside. Currently, I would be looking for higher highs in this market. So if you are looking to trade euro CAD, any deep correction here is welcome. And I would be looking for breakouts to the upside and any bullish reversals in this market would be viewed as the opportunity to look for long positions up towards the target set at the 1.5053. Pound franc. Now, pound franc is structured to the downside going into this week. It was actually a pair I liked to the upside last week, but we had a reversal week. You guys may have heard me say before we like to trade many of these until the wheels fall off. Well, this is what the wheels falling off looks like after three months of really, really nice moves to the upside in this market. So like euro pound, this has paid us really nicely this year. But last week we had a bit of a reversal. So I am temporarily bearish on this market. Any correction, although it's not on the watch list, any correction in this market would be viewed next week as an opportunity to look for bearish breakouts down to the next key of support to the downside and the target set at 1.2575. Pound Aussie structured to the downside going into next week, so I do favor short positions in this market. If you are looking to trade this market, any correction back towards the 1.81410 would be viewed as the opportunity to look for bearish reversals down to the next key of support to the downside the target set, the 1.7824. Pound CAD doesn't make the watch list, but we have some strong momentum to the downside, so I wouldn't be surprised at all to see lower lows in this market next week. So if you are looking to trade this, any correction in this market would be viewed as an opportunity to look for bearish reversals down to the next key of support to the downside the target set at the 1.7051. Pound New Zealand, structured to the downside, I don't think it's one of the best opportunities next week, but if you are looking to trade this, I would only favor short positions in this market, and any correction towards 1.970 would be viewed as the opportunity to look for 
bearish reversals and breakouts down towards the next Kiev support to the downside at the one point nine two seven one. Aussie Frank, structure to the downside, so I would only favor short positions in this market. We're quite near the lows, so I'd like to see a correction first, and any correction in this market would be viewed as the opportunity to look for bearish reversals and breakouts down to the next Kiev support to the downside of the target set, 0 0.6990. Aussie CAD, very similar to Aussie Dollar, we're posting in this potential inverse head and shoulders. Now, this does not mean the market's going to go higher, but what it does show is there is some strength in the Aussie against the Canadian, which the Canadian itself is showing some strength against other currencies. So it just reinforces this idea that the Aussie is not the weakest currency going into next week. I will personally be filtering this market out. I think there are better opportunities. But if you are looking to trade this, the opportunity now we're getting this potential right shoulder would be to look for a breakout of this right shoulder. And any breakout to the upside would be viewed as the opportunity to look for long positions up towards the next gear of resistance to the upside, 0 0.9702. Aussie New Zealand on the watch list next week is one to watch to the upside. I think this market has a very good chance of moving higher next week. And the reason is we're seeing the Aussie dollar hold up against a number of the currencies. It's kind of holding a bit of strength, although it's not massively strong itself. Whereas the New Zealand is actually quite a weak currency. And I think by default, we'll see this market move higher next week. So it is on my watch list. We've already started to correct, so any breakout to the upside in this market would be viewed as the opportunity to look for long positions up towards the next key of resistance to the upside in the target set, the 1.0908. New Zealand CAD, this was my favorite pair last week, and anybody who shorted this last week would have made money, although I did also like pound francs to the upside as my second favorite pair, and we had a reversal week in that market. Going into this week, it is the sixth pair on my six pair watch list and again I think this is my favorite market I see this coming down to make lower lows even if it has been a little bit corrective over the last couple of weeks we've already started to break lower so any correction in this market once again is simply viewed as another opportunity to go short down towards the next key of support to the downside the target set 0 0.8699 New Zealand franc. New Zealand franc was actually a nice market. We came and took out the target that we had set over the last week or so at 0 0.6503. Going into this week, I am still bearish on this market and any correction would once again be viewed as an opportunity to look for bearish reversals down to the next key of support to the downside of the target set at 0 0.6441. And last but not least, CAD Frank. Now, CAD Frank is another market which paid really nicely in Q1. And last week, finally, looks like that rally has come to an end. We had a big sell-off, and because of that, it comes off the high probability watch list. However, I would favor short positions in this market next week. Any correction back towards the 0 0.74840 would be viewed as an opportunity to look for bearish reversals in this market, down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set, the 0 0.7274. So that is it for me for this week, guys. Those are the six markets I'll be focusing on next week. And because the total number of markets trending is now quite low, I will be favoring personally a capital preservation approach, only trading really the best setups and limiting the amount of trades I take next week. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you to everybody who does that on a regular basis. A big thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel so far, who likes and shares the content. And also a big thank you to everybody who comments on the channel on a regular basis as well. I want to wish you all a fantastic week next week. And I want to wish you all a lovely weekend. The only thing left to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely.